YouTube, this your boy down low back with another mixtape review. Now a lot of rappers want to get into the rap game because of the pucks of the business. And that's fucking retarded. That's like saying, I want to work at McDonald's because I want the free food. Not because you want to mop the fucking floor and flip the burgers in which that's what you're going to do. See, in the rap game, your pucks are going to be expensive clothes, expensive jewelry, groupie women, a lot of flashy stuff. But notice I'm not saying money. In order to get to this level, you have to work harder than anybody out there. So you earn every damn dollar that you will not see. Twitter time. This week's topic, things I never understood. Why is it the rappers who don't grind are always the ones saying that we gonna blow the fuck up? Why is it that rappers will go to a freestyle battle and spit a written rap, but then go in the booth and try to freestyle it out? Why labels will force a rapper to pay for an image of success with shoes, jewelry, anything out there that's expensive, but yet not pay any kind of money for the music. I get high off my adrenaline, so try to rep me as goodbye, cause I'm a multiplier like a gremlin. Flam finesse, work like a slave, eat like a king. And the very first thing that I noticed while I was listening to this mixtape is you have a very distinct voice. Take it from a guy who has a very distinct voice also, that a lot of people, when I was coming up at least, always made fun of me on how I spoke. But the thing that makes your voice different is going to be the thing that makes you millions. Now, but you have very strong lyrics. You got a really good flow, like your flow complements your voice completely. Only thing is you are inconsistent with your songs. There's some songs where you got the lyrics, you got the flow, don't have the beat. Some songs where you got the beat, you don't have the hook. And the best way to remedy that is to make as many songs as you possibly can. And then select the best songs out of them that have everything. And only put those out on your next games. Now you'll have a bunch of additional songs on the side in which you can use for promotion, but you will be increasing the quality of your mixtapes tenfold. Now my favorite songs off this is that Dreams, Nightmare, Warm Me, Narcissist Ad, in which these songs were tight and all, but consider that I only like like 3 out of 16 tracks and you have the talent to make something way better than this. So keep grinding, I'm sure you'll make a much better project the next go round. You know I'm going off the bottle, put on the throttle, feeling like I just won the lotto, may have to load up the Tahoe, go to Chicago, then had to fuck with a model, wait let me- G -Cal, like it or not. See the thing that I really did not like about this mixtape is that you used way too many instruments. And the thing that makes me mad about it the most is the fact that you got skills. You got great confidence and you got hot ass songs. But yet you went on ahead and did a whole bunch of these instrumental tracks that mean nothing. Like my favorite songs off this is I Got You, Chad, PSA, Respect. That respect is beautiful. But I will tell you one thing that I love that you did. You decided to pay homage to UGK and you did it the right way. See, most people consider paying homage as stealing that person's lyrics and reciting it for themselves whenever they have a blank space. But you showed the utmost love and homage to Pepsi and you didn't steal any of his lyrics except for when you started to say never let whole ass niggas ride. But I let that one slide. But this definitely was a really Good they want to label me this college kid because I got a scholarship. You acting like I'm not legit. I need a trophy and a bitch to polish it. Acknowledge Brams with the Roaring Twenty. This is some really good commercial friendly rap. And I've got to say that you are the picture of consistency. And what I mean by this is if you like one song off this mixtape, you like the majority. You are a better, more polished version of Mac Miller. Think of it in a business sense. To be compared to Mac Miller is to be competing with Mac Miller. And Mac Miller just made Forbes list. And for you to compete with that, you can. And it sucks because 
I know you're being yourself here. It's just you are very similar to Mac Miller. But there are a bunch of really good tracks up on this mixtape. Doing it big, see me sustain, and that rock star bizarre were my favorites. But you are good enough to develop a different style. What you need to do is you need to start looking at the rap game in general in logical terms. Like what group of people out there do not have anybody speaking for them? And this was your mixtape review for January 6, 2012. Holla at your boy.